beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Rebecca Miller. I'm a registered dietitian and I'm taking you in on a full day of eating, meal prepping, all sorts of stuff. So you can kind of see a day in the life of what a dietitian eats, what a dietitian makes her husband eat, and then just kind of seeing what's up. We've been under quarantine with the coronavirus. You know, nutrition's a little bit different, lifestyle and routine's a little bit different. So I wanted to just pop on here and show you guys a day in the life of what it's like to work from home. Uh, maybe give you some tips and tricks on healthy eating and exercise, as well as balance and flexibility as well with your food and nutrition. I'm about to go make breakfast and I'm gonna show you everything that I do. I don't follow any specific dietary patterns. I kind of eat everything. I kind of like to have a motto of all foods fit, but understanding and listening to my body. I need to make my breakfast, but then I also have a client meeting at nine. I do take virtual clients and I'm gonna show you all of that. So without further ado, let's get in the kitchen. So I wanna show you the things I do in the mornings before I work out because that was way too early to be filming um, for this video. So this morning I woke up around six o'clock and then the first thing I did was make a glass of Zen basil and lemon water just like this. I'll probably just make another one since it's really good. So the Zen basil seeds are full of fiber, prebiotics, um, you know, good carbs, proteins, fats, things like that. It's about seven grams of fiber per um, tablespoon. So I have a good seven grams of fiber here to start my morning. So I like to drink this throughout my yoga practice in the morning. And then before my workouts and before all of that, I do have a greens product here. This is the amazing grass antioxidants. I recommend this to almost every single person that I work with because it helps get covers your basis on your fruits and vegetables, digestive enzymes, keeps that gut ha happy, all of that stuff. So I like to add the greens in every single morning. And if I don't get them in the morning, it's okay. You could take them at lunchtime, evening time, whatever. Just helps with bloating. And then I have been recently adding a scoop of the reds powders, which is supposed to help with like um, nitric oxide, AKA energy and blood flow. Kind of helps before your morning run or something to give you some energy. Okay, so I just had a meeting with my client and now we're back for breakfast. My appetite has been a little off today. I don't know why some days I'll have a ravenous appetite and then other days I'm not really hungry. So I'm not hungry today. It's strange, but I guarantee you my appetite will be rubbing later. So what I want to do is make a smoothie. That's I'm pretty simple. I like a lot of different breakfast things, but I love smoothies. I always have. Gonna make a smoothie. Ooh, ooh. As you've seen my other videos, I'm not gonna go too into it, but I'm gonna do a cup of almond silk milk for some proteins, about a cup. I'm gonna put in some cauliflower rice for some fiber as well as vegetables. You could do spinach, kale, you know, but would you like that much. You can't taste it. I'm gonna do a little fat. I've got some frozen avocado chunks. You don't need a whole lot, but this will help sustain you for the morning. It's kind of a lot. <laughs> That's okay. Um, I've got my blueberries here. I'm probably going to do a cup of blueberries. I like the frozen. Frozen blueberries. You know for that skin glue. And then about a third cup of Greek yogurt, plain, no flavor. So maybe I'll do two thirds cup. That's the smoothie and we're gonna blend it up. If you want to, you can add a little honey or some stevia for flavor because there's not a lot of sweetener, not any. The blueberries are the only sweet things. But I like to add in all this stuff to keep it, my palate more savory um, and not as sweet. So then I don't crave sweet foods all the time. I forgot the best part, guys. So I'm gonna add some flaxseed. I got this at Go Costco. And I'm gonna do like a tablespoon of that. You want to make sure that your flaxseed is grounded, like ground up like this before you put it in a smoothie. It's more bioavailable. That's how you get the nutrients out of it. So if you eat whole flax seeds, they won't digest very well. So you'll want to make sure you get them grounded or buy them whole and ground them yourself. So let's blend this up and I will show you myself. All right, look at that. 
So while I'm getting ready, drinking, eating my breakfast, drinking my breakfast, <laughs> I'm going to show you my supplements, I guess, because this is a full day, you know, of eating. Never done this before, but I do take CLA just for like um, fat mobilization, fat burn, things like that. I do take a multivitamin. So I take two of these a day. This is by Thorn. I also take by Thorn Agaba Calm. So this helps with like anxiety and calmness. I take one of those a day. Vitamin D3, since we are inside more often, probably not getting as much vitamin D. Just thought can't hurt to get extra. And then I do take an L-carnitine, which also does something similar to that CLA. And I do take probiotics and then also fish oil, which I do not have, but I will take those. So later. with being under isolation and quarantine, right? Is that what you call it? With being under that. Social you know, distancing. With, with the, okay. With the social distancing thing in place right now, a lot of people's routines, I bet your routines are different. I'm sure your nutrition is different. You're worried about losing your gains if you're a big gym person. Or maybe you're just like, how can I build muscle or lose weight at home? Well, we're gonna tell you how. So Michael has some good tips and he's gonna tell you from behind the camera. And then I have some good tips to help you out, okay? Take walks, like what we're doing right now. Make sure you're getting some daily walks in. If it's safe to do so, and you're allowed to do so. If not, do some movement at home, like some stretching. There's tons of workouts on YouTube. <laughs> like, are you okay? <laughs> Walking in mud. Are you okay? How about you like stay on your side of the sidewalk? Cut. <laughs> so my top tips. My top top tips is don't let your nutrition slip. Just because you're sitting around and you want to snack more and you munch more, that's okay. Enjoy it, but we're not moving as much. So we still got to be mindful of those portion sizes and we still need to maybe choose more fiber-filled meals, add some fats into your meals, and I'll show you how I do that, kind of how I added those avocados in the, my morning smoothie to help me sustain myself for the day. Get out and walk. And just make sure, make sure you get your daily movement in. Michael, what are your tips? Those are all good. I agree. <laughs> Marry a dietitian as well. That's what's helped me. Is that one good? Okay. That's my best so one. The next, the best one is also marry a dietitian. Yeah. Easiest way, I guess. So. <laughs> That's husband tip. Husband tip. No, I think I would say set a routine. Mm -hmm. Set a routine. So if you want to go walk and you say, okay, every lunch, or every day for lunch, we'll do a walk. Yeah. Do that. For sure. All right. Well. I'm going to talk to you all later because we're going to enjoy our walk. Don't worry, everybody. I'm prepared. We decided to order lunch today. So I got a firehouse sub. I did get a turkey sub with a little bit of provolone cheese, some onions and veggies in there, as well as a little bit of mayo and on wheat bread. I ended up skipping the chips. I might grab the chips just because I was gonna swap them maybe for some fruit or some veggies just to make sure. Um, it's a lighter day for me. I don't really need to eat a whole lot more carbs. I already have a lot of carbs with the bread, so I'm pretty good on that. Um, but maybe on a like a leg day or heavier day, I might get the chips or something that's higher in carbs. So that's what we're enjoying today. All right, guys. So I finished scraping out all the seeds in that middle part here, and now I'm ready to put these guys in the oven. So there are so many different ways you can cook spaghetti squash, but I like the oven and the Instant Pot best. 
But I'm gonna go ahead and season this and put it in the oven. My favorite cooking oil to use for a higher heat is gonna be avocado oil or ghee. The reason why I love avocado oil is because it has more polyunsaturated fats that are really good for our heart. So I do about a tablespoon on each, on each half, give or take. If you're feeling more, go ahead. There's no right or wrong. Just using a tablespoon measuring ensures that you're, you're practicing portion control if weight loss is a goal of yours. I also, since I am making a sauce with this recipe, I'm not gonna get too crazy with the seasonings. I'm just gonna use salt and pepper and not much else. So I'm gonna put those in the oven for about 50 minutes and then I'm gonna get on to the sauce next. Hey Becca, what do you do while it's cooking? So I am enjoying a glass of Chardonnay wine tonight with our meals. You could definitely incorporate wine and alcohol modestly within a weight loss and healthy nutrition plan. I'm enjoying a glass tonight. All right, this baby just came out of the oven and I'm gonna show you how amazing this vegetable is. Like you could see that it's just coming up and it looks like noodles. It's perfectly cooked deliciousness and all we need to do to finish this meal is add the sauce and add your protein that's it easy peasy done so let's do it let's do it <laughs> so i have my shredded chicken here so i did this in the crock pot and i just shredded it with two forks i heated it up in the microwave this is a perfect example of how you could use meal prepped proteins in your meals throughout the week so i'm just adding it to what i already cooked so spaghetti squash, I'm gonna grab about maybe a cup or two cups. And um, by the way, only one cup of spaghetti squash is about 50 calories. So you could really load up on as almost as much as you want. So I'm gonna add about that much. I can always come back for more. And then whatever sauce you have with spaghetti squash, you just put it on now. I'm gonna do the Asian style sauce. And so it mixes in with the, there. Yummy. And then just let it, I might add it too much, but. You get the gist and just let it mix. It doesn't look very pretty, but it sure does look good. So there you have it. There's your Asian noodles. Well, that was pretty much it for a full day of eating for me. It varies day to day. It's never the same. And I really just try to track my protein and my overall calorie intake. My final thoughts on that dinner, by the way, Michael really liked it, but I did it. So Tread cautiously if you use that recipe, but it was good and I'm glad I tried it because I love spaghetti squash and love venturing out in the kitchen. Normally I would have maybe a higher carb dinner or maybe a little bit of a treat after afterwards, but because I am having a couple glasses of wine, I made the swap for that because I want balance and not to overeat or under consume. So wine is definitely part of my program. I love it. Thank you so much for joining in today on my full day of eating and whatever else I threw in there. I'm probably gonna end up just chilling the rest of the night, maybe go do an ab workout, maybe go walk, but nothing crazy. And if I eat anything, it's gonna be a light snack. But that being said, if you love this content, please subscribe and like this page in my YouTube channel. And feel free to comment below any feedback or tips or things you'd like to see in the future. Thanks so much, cheers.